Hello. Testing. One, two, three. Testing on. All right. I just well selected now. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Give this a sec. Mm. Oh, Nami. Honestly, this is probably the only good property they have left. Although even then, they kind of turn it into like a monetization scheme. That's why I don't buy the more recent Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I'll be honest. I prefer getting Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Well, now I collect Yu-Gi-Oh cards again. I got. I tend to get those cards through. Mm, through lots, through collection lots on eBay, just like Pokemon. Although I'll be honest, I haven't even bought any new Pokemon cards in over a year. Mostly because I've been focusing on paying bills and shit. I wasn't a good time for that either because of the whole pandemic. But uh, anyway, hello all you maniacal gamers, this is the Video Game Maniac and welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution. <laughs> That's quite the title, ain't it? So, playing through several Pokemon games, now I'm playing a Yu-Gi-Oh! game. What made me play a Yu-Gi-Oh! game? Uh, to put it simply, I've been on a Yu-Gi-Oh! binge over the last couple of months. Watched through the whole first um, first arc of Yu-Gi-Oh! I can't really call it season, because there's five seasons in the first arc of Yu-Gi-Oh! I don't know how many there are in GX, 5Ds, Zexel, Arc 5, V-Rains? Is, is that the sixth one? And then there's the seventh one, which, what is it going to be called? Arc 7? Something like that. Anyway. Sweet. Things pretty simple. Select user, pick from available users or create a new one, help an op wait, what does this mean? Oh. Well, if I could I could always switch users, I guess, make a new one. But I don't think I'll be able to play multiplayer through that one. Let's see here. So what does my current deck look like? I recognize these cards. Yeah, normal monsters. Not very strong, but yeah, they got decent attack, I guess. This one, decent defense. I've heard of this card before. Two face monsters of the same attributes, so like two fires or something. Doesn't seem too difficult to summon. Ah, cool. Ah, I know this card. Ah, yeah, Joey uses that card a lot. I remember seeing that card used a lot in, when I was in middle school. This monster gets the following effects while there is a monster with the following attributes on the field. Fire, this card gains 500 attack. Wind, this, if this card destroys your opponent's monster by battle, it can attack once again in a row. Never heard of that card before. Hmm. Classic. Isn't this card... I could have swear I remember this card being banned at one point. Hmm. Nice. It's a solid start so far, and then I haven't got some in the trunk, do I? Absorbing jar. There's quite a few different jars. I'm not familiar with this one. Ah. Well, this is like... Or spell and trap cards, not just monsters. Like a weaker blast sphere, if I recall correctly. Oh yeah, Amazons. Amazon is monsters, actually. The hell? Most of these cards I recognize. Not all of them, though. Oh, yeah. I remember the card. Blood... Me Blood me fist. Hmm. Oh, I've seen this card in Duel Links. It was made for, like, Dark Magician and Blue Eyes. But I think you... Do you need this card in the Blue Eyes deck? What the heck? Huh! It's like a stronger version of Breaker, even though they both have the same attack. Well, it gains 400 attack for each... For each spell count on it. What about what happened if you use, um... Ah, oh, what's the name of that card? It's a card that I remember using a fair amount of times in Duel Links. Oh, Power of the Guardians. What if you used that card with this card? With monsters that involve spell counters. 
You can remove one spell counter from this card. No. Uh, gains 400 attack for each spell counter on it. On the card itself, I guess. And power of the guardians, if I recall correctly, the spell counters go on the uh, on the equipped spell, not the monster. Ah, but this one, you can remove one spell counter from your field for each of those monsters instead. I've had thoughts of making a spell counter deck in uh, in Duel Links, although lately I've made a. Oh wow! Look at that gigantic castle. Um. Lately, I've I've been using a gladiator beast deck in uh in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Oh, Scarred, Scrap... Scrap Archfiend? Does this fulfill two archetypes? There's a Scrap Archetype and an Archfiend Archetype. Yeesh. Whoa! It's gonna take me a while to make a deck out of these, though. Eh, yeah, give me a sec here. Let me just share this out. Copy a link. Believe this is one of those turn-based RPGs when you break it down. It's more of a casual game, honestly. Not that I can complain about casual games. I like casual games, I like action games. I like a lot of different types of games, honestly. I think that's uh that's good. Yeah. Let's go. Play against an elite historic duelist. Oh. Learn how to play Yu-Gi-Oh! step by step. Let's see how quickly I can breeze through this. Oh. I thought it was just gonna give me a wall of text. Ah crap. Uh well, let me see what I already know. Games and rules. Deck, dual flow, summoning monsters, attack phases, damage, defense position, view monster power, level monsters, spawn trap card. Da, da, da. Yep, yep, yep. This isn't earth, um, higher up. This is below fusion and ritual summons. I would think this. Okay. Chains, match duels. Yeah, those are like two out of three. There are cards that you win the match with. They're actually banned because of that. They don't win the duel. They win the match. That's that's different. Pendulum and Link Monsters. These are actually the cards that I don't understand um, all that well. More so, Pendulums and Links. Hello there, this is Ion Form. Oh, Informate. Uh. Infor. Wait, who's who? This lesson will teach you about Pendulum Monsters. These cards can be used as either monster cards or spell cards. They can be placed as a spell card in the new Pendulum Zones on the field. Two pendulum zones on each side of the field. Hmm. This is where you place pendulum monsters from your hand as spell cards during main phase one or main phase two. So they're like hybrids. Let's try it. First place a pendulum monster face up in an empty pendulum zone. Or four maple turn to do, do, do battle phase. Target the monster you control. Change its battle position. And if you do. Which its current attack and defense until the end of this turn. They can be both. They can be summoned as either monsters or pendulums, huh? Ah. Oh, look at that. If one pendulum zone is already occupied, you can still place a pendulum monster in the under pen in the other pendulum zone. Let's say I fight spell cards. You can place more than one in a turn. The power of the pendulum flashes forth from this shining knight. I need this tutorial, honestly. It's only been up, to, up until now that I actually um, bothered learning about pendulum monsters. 
because as far as my knowledge of Yu-Gi-Oh cards goes, right around the middle of Yu-Gi-Oh Zetsu, it's kind of a, it's kind of a gap. Once both of your pendulum zones have pendulum monsters placed in them, you can perform a special pendulum summon. But first, let's look at the pendulum monster cards as they have a lot of information on them. <laughs> yep, since they do so much, they have two effect text boxes on them. Damn. Jesus. Reading a book with these cards. The one that becomes active depends on how the card is placed. Hmm. Once per turn, during the end phase of this card was activated this turn, you can target one face of spell trap card on the field and destroy it. If you activate your pendulum monster as a spell in the pendulum zone, it stays on the field and you can use its pendulum effect written in the top box. You could also summon or set a pendulum monster as a monster by placing it in a monster zone. I feel like I've seen this card before. Hmm. These are all new cards to me, honestly. You can banish this card from your pendulum zone. Add two face of pendulum monster cards with the same name from your extra deck to your hand. Extra deck? I still don't get it. When summoned by as a monster, its monster effect, if any, will become active. Be sure to, uh, of how you place the pendulum monster. Once it has been summoned, or set as a monster, or placed as a spell in the pendulum zone, it cannot be changed to the other type while it is on the field. The pendulum monster in play is sent to the graveyard, place it face up on top of your extra deck instead. This is true if the pendulum monster was placed as a spell or monster card. Hmm. Oh, and you just dark hold my hamster, huh? Now we will show you how a pendulum summon works. First, you will need a pendulum monster in each of the pendulum zones. You can pendulum summon once per turn in your main phase. Check the pendulum scales located on the sides of pendulum monsters. Usually, both pendulum scales are the same. In one pendulum summon, you can summon as many monsters as you want. They can come from your hand. Or from the face of pendulum monsters in your extra deck. Remember this being a meme or something. The level of the monster you summon has to be in between the pendulum scales you have in the pendulum zone. Pendulum scales are 3 and 7. This means you can pendulum summon any number of monsters between the levels of 4 and 6. Okay. Oh, and now you give me these cards. Four, level four. So can't be seven or three, huh? Oh, I see. Wait. I can't summon this one? Oh, whatever. Um nah. Oh, okay, now I see. I'm not used to having more than three slots in... Because I've been playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links a lot. Rescue Hamster. I'll just put this in defense. A lot of normal cards here too, huh? I like to brush up on Pendulum and Link monsters, honestly, because I don't use those in Dual Links. XA's not so much. It's pretty simple to use. You can only Pendulum summon once per turn, but can summon as many monsters as you want at that time. Pendulum monsters are monster cards while they are in the Hand, Deck, Monster Zone, Graveyard, and Extra Deck. When a Pendulum monster is played in the Pendulum Zone, it becomes a spell and activates its Pendulum effect. They can be sent to the Graveyard, Wait, there's, when they're sent to the graveyard, they're placed face up in the extra deck? What if they're removed from play, though? They can be pendulum summoned, like monsters in your hand. Pendulum monsters do not go to the extra deck when sent from the hand or deck when using pendulum material monsters to succeed material. They make it easier to exceed synchro and fusion summon, especially if you pendulum summon more pendulum monsters. What's the next game-breaking type of card that they're going to introduce? 
normal effect fusion ritual spell and trap card synchro exceeds pendulum link what are they going to introduce next using a pendulum monster and synchro material sends it to the extra deck so you can pendulum summon it again Oof. used as fusion materials for fusion summons will also get sent to the extra deck you could also just attack with all your pendulum summon monsters for maximum damage all right that's not too difficult to comprehend i'm only looking at these two tutorials because although i don't think i'll be seeing these for a while uh it would pay to brush up on them link monsters and link summoning it's almost like the xc's but um the position matters with these cards right I remember seeing a regular version of that card. Two water monsters. All water monsters on the field gain 500 attack and defense. Also, all fire monsters on the field. Feels like I'm doing homework all of a sudden. Lose 400 attack and defense. If this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can target one water monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand. Not bad. You can only use the effect of Mistar Boy once per turn. Link monsters have dark blue frames with red arrows. They do not have defense, but they have a link rating on the bottom right of the card. The link rating represents the number of link materials that you must send to the graveyard for the field in order to summon it. It's also equal to the number of red or link arrows. In general, each monster can be used as one link material. However, when a link monster is used as a link material for other link monsters, it can be sent to the graveyard as one link material or a number of link materials equal to its link rating. Yeah, it's only good to note that only certain kinds of monsters can be used as a material to link summon a link monster. This link monster requires two water attribute monsters. Oh god. In your extra deck, select special summon. Okay. Why do I why would I have this one? Some use, no use. <sighs> Barely a use, I don't know. Two water types or oh. Can I summon more than one or just one? I guess these types of monsters got link reprints or something. Look, the cards are sent to the graveyard. Dupe and dupe. Hmm. I didn't have a top hat and a monocle before. There are no link monsters on the field. Link monsters and face up pendulum monsters summoned from the extra deck can only be summoned to one of the center extra monster zones. When a link monster is in play, you can now summon any extra deck monster to any main monster zone that the link monster's link arrow points to. Huh. Isn't this a master rule or something? I remember hearing about this. Actually, a Master Rule 5 that's either already out or recently out or something. Hmm. I mean, given the way that I want to play this game, I won't be seeing this mechanic anytime soon, but still. Link monsters can be used as a number of link materials equal to their link rating. Um, the two link monsters in play can be used as. New link material- wait, what? This is new. Or new to me, anyway. Link monsters can be used as a number of link materials equal to their link rating. Oh. The two link monsters in play can be used as two materials each. I can summon a link for one then now, huh? Top Logic Bomber Dragon. I think I've heard of this card before. Two plus effect monsters. If another monster special summoned to a zone, a link monster points to. All those monsters in the field, the all monsters in the main monster zone. So your opponent cannot. You is a lot more complicated than I would than I would think. Pendulums and links, man, they threw in a bit of a loop. And for damage calculation, if this card attacked an opponent's monster, inflict damage to your opponent equal to that monster's original attack. It'll all come to me in time, though. Do. Eesh. 
sure to think ahead when placing your monsters. Yeah, that matters. Didn't this game get an update recently? I think it added view rings or something, I don't know. <laughs> I'll be honest. Before I tackle any of these, I should at least see the anime corresponding to them. Just binge watch it on Hulu. Wait, what am I selecting here? Campaign, series, campaign. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, would you look at this? Ah, I recognize these silhouettes too. Going through all throughout the anime, basically. Yeah, I know who that is. Ow! A lot, too. Loading Yu Gi Oh! Histories. The story of Yu Gi Moto begins at Domino High School, where Duel Monsters, the hottest card game in the world, in real life, is it one of the hardest, um, hottest card games in the world? Might be like, I don't know, it's probably top three. Where would I put it? Right alongside Pokemon, Magic the Gathering. Even though I never played Magic the Gathering before, honestly, I don't even know where to begin with the rules of that game. The story of Yugi Moto begins at Domino High School, where Duel Monsters, the hottest card game in the world, was all the rage. Yugi was the best duelist around, and his friend Joey wanted desperately to learn how to duel as well. So, our history of Yugi Moto starts with Yugi teaching the rules of duel monsters to Joey as their friends Taya and Tristan watch. This should all be a bit of a recap to me, honestly, because I recently watched through the whole anime. Hey, Joey! Earth to Joey! It's your turn! Hmm. Um. Oh, isn't he cute when he's thinking? Hey, Tristan! That's bad. Hey, Tristan! Yugi's here teaching me how to play duel monsters! I can't do the- I can't do a Brooklyn accent, sadly. Drooling monsters? Duel monsters, you nimrod. They've been at it for hours. Joey's starting to get the hang of the game, but Yugi's like an expert. He also has better cards, honestly. Okay, Yugi, it's time to duel. And can I read all this before? Nope, I can't. Wow, what a stirring intro. Eh. Inf. Infinite. 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 The one's information, the other one's infinite? Something like that? Uh, what a soaring intro. I am F 98 sure can spin a tail. Greetings, duelist. I am Infor. That's the one, information. Part of the virtual game simulator. I've been programmed to teach you proper dueling rules and best practices. Oh, God. I, I get the feeling I'm gonna be in for a tutorial. So let's get started and walk you through the basics. In this scenario, you will be taking on the role of the legendary Yugi Muro, facing off against the not quite as, ouch, not quite as legendary Joey Wheeler, third-rate duelist. Remember that? Yugi definitely does not have any of these cards. Well, I think he used that card one time before. First, let's learn how to summon a monster. Uh, boy, let's just speed this up. I'm gonna put that bitch down. Face down, and defense. Face down, ass up. Oh, you're gonna hurt yourself. Yep, he hurt himself. Man, I remember some of these cards being broken. People were using them a lot in, in the past. Might have noticed that Joey attacked you and wound up hurting himself? Yeah, I know. Yep. Nah, I wouldn't have said. This is all second nature to me. I mean, until it gets to Link and Pendulum monsters, then it's a little bit more, more of a learning curve for me. Not much, but I would imagine a bit. I'll work my way up to that anyway. So, I'll just follow the instructions. I'll just skip through the tutorial, because honestly, it's just... Ugh, it's... Monotonous. I I'll say that much. I don't normally skip tutorials, but... I already know all. I, I already know all this. Select the dragon dwelling in the cave on the field. What are you? Oh wait. Oh, I would have just tributed first and foremost. Okay. 
<laughs> Minken dog. Like a Naruzumaki dog or something. I see it because, yeah, okay. Yep. This dragon wields a sword and you're afraid to use it. That reminds me, I've played a little bit of Dev Pro before. It does a little bit like this, except there's background music this time. I'm surprised Konami doesn't take down Dev Pro, honestly. But he doesn't stand a, cha uh, a chance. It's clean as clock. On this turn, we will summon another monster. Up until now, you've only used monsters level 4 below. Yeah, finally! You can send one face up, continue a spell card you control to the graveyard, then target one monster your opponent controls, destroy that target. Doesn't matter what position it is in. Alright, let's get rid of. Pen Dog? Okay. I'm at the mercy of this tutorial, sadly. Yeah, I already read. I'm way ahead of you. And then I play a face down Call of the Haunted, so. Yeah, yeah. Two cards, huh? Because I'm using Rush Ruthlessly as well. And Torch Shark Kampf. That's German, I don't know what that means though. Whoa, am I getting raided? Or something? There's only one person. It's Yu Gi Oh! Kampf. Zoo Fall 1986. Where are you guys coming from? Eh, hell yeah. Just a tutorial. I mean, this is literally, what, the first 20 minutes of the game or something? Uh, I spent a couple of, I'd say about 10 or so minutes looking at the tutorials for Link and Pendulum Monsters because I don't understand those cards, not just yet anyway. Eh, I'll get the hang of them, though. Once I start making decks relating to those cards, because plenty of cards use those. Shaq come, Sawing Kramp, I raided you. Oh, hey! Rainer Zoo Fall 1986, thank you so much for the raid, by the way. Why am I suddenly getting raided all of a sudden? It's like, this is like the third raid in two weeks. This is going to you? Is it just me, or do, this, or do the sound effects even sound a little stock? Maybe it's just because I've seen one too many Dev Pro videos. Raid, raid, much love for small streamers. Hey, Rhapsody, Minotech, Kenlord, Dexel T, Odin's Hand. Thank you guys so much for the raid. Thank you so much, Rainer Zoofall1986. I just give me a sec here. Yeah, what's the occasion? Is it because I posted this on Twitter or something? I don't know. All of this is just enough to wipe you out, actually. Remember when Yu-Gi-Oh was normal monsters, some um, overpowered effect monsters like Blackluster Soldier, Envoy of the um, of the beginning, Chaos yeah, Emperor Dragon, spells and traps, the occasional fusion monsters. All I remember back in the day was who would summon Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon first? Or what? Future Fusion, Cyberstein. Oh, you stink at this game, Joey. You did fine, Joey. I just have better cards. My grandpa owns a game shop, and I get all my best cards from him. Jesus. I got all my cards from eBay, personally. Like, I... I mean, I got a lot of cards back... No, that's not back there. They're put over there, cards that I got on eBay for a while. These cards right here that I'm holding, uh, these came from a legendary Duelist deck that I got. It was like a little gold box. I think I only paid 30 bucks for it on eBay. Uh, comes with three decks. One deck has... Eh. Hell yeah. A bunch of other cards and shit. Uh, much love for small streamers. Oh, from Twitch. Actually, a 2,000 viewer streamer. Oh, on Twitch. Nice. I have a Twitch channel. I just don't use it. I gotta learn how to multi-stream, honestly. My grandpa owns a game shop, and I get all my best cards from him. Your own game shop? What are we waiting for? Let's go. Okay, maybe I can- uh, I should've brought some water, I'll be honest. Okay, maybe I can even get my grandpa to show us the super rare card he's got. Yeah, he's got the blue eyes, if I recall correctly. Little did they know that someone was listening in on their conversation. Someone who was looking for a very rare card to add to his collection. 
I do have my subscriber notification on, right? Hmm. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I'll be honest. New campaign duel unlocked. On the cards. Deck avatar. Deck recipe. Oh, Joey has that card in his deck. Card award skull stalker? I remember that card. It's vintage cards, honestly. Do you play MTG as well? I don't understand MTG, honestly. Never bothered learning it. Could I buy some? Could I, uh, let me see here. Oh, I can't. Not yet. I guess I gotta proceed through this a little bit more. Yu-Gi-Oh! The Heart of the Cards. Hmm. El Corazón de los Cartas. Spanish, by the way. That afternoon, Yugi and his friends... Yugi and his friends went to Grandpa's game shop. <sighs> Hope this store isn't closed down during the coronavirus pandemic. Yugi wanted to show his friends his grandpa's prized possession. Gramps, could you show my friends your awesome, super special, radical... I remember little Karibo playing with this. I miss Yugi with the Abridge series. Didn't he finish it after the whole... Seal of Recalcos arc? Never went to season 5, though. To be honest, he suffers from some health con concerns, honestly. And then there's Team 4 Star with Dragon Ball Z Abridged. They actually posted a video about that about, I think, a month or two ago. They, they're they stopping Team 4 Star's Dragon Ball Z Abridged. It ended on a high note, honestly. I didn't think they were going to continue it because it's been... It, it was it was too long. Too, too much time has passed. Her card? You mean my special card? Hmm... Honestly, I have a few blue eyes white dragons somewhere over there. Um, it would take a while to get them though. Please, please. <laughs> How can I refuse? You kids are in for a treat. I don't take this card out too often. Oh, maybe it's worth more than the average blue eyes white dragon because it doesn't have any text whatsoever. Like, uh, let me see if I can get this somewhere. Ah, it's like something like this. Uh, if I recall correctly, these are one of those art cards that we used to get into the Duelist Kingdom or something. Ah, this one. <laughs> this one. And then... Oh, this one as well. These are special cards. You can't play them, though. It even says so. This card cannot be used in a duel. Also, are all these cards drawn by the same person? Kazuki Takahashi. Kazuki Takahashi. This person couldn't have drawn all these cards. I mean, I know with Pokemon, there's various different artists, and it even says so on the card. This card is priceless. There are only four of them in all the world. Yeah, right. Reprints kill their value eventually. They'll kill the value of all cards eventually. Suddenly, a classmate from school ran into the shop. His name was Seto Kaiba. Ah, Mr. Screw the Rules, because he has money. Uh, the young, <laughs> the young CEO of Kaiba Corp. How much do you think that company is worth? Well, given the technology, and I remember uh, the Dark Side of Dimensions, where he actually beamed himself back in time or something just to have a rematch with the Pharaoh. That's dedication right there. That's also, I don't know, could could be a grievous misuse of his money and resources or something. I don't know. He has found the card he was looking for. Name your price for that blue eyes. I can pay anything you want. Two bucks? Probably goes for that much on eBay, honestly. Depends on the artwork, anyway, because I know there's this one Blue Eyes White Dragon with artwork where it looks like it's standing on top of something, like King Kong with the moon in the background. I think that's the most expensive one, unless there's a Ghost Rare Blue Eyes or something that I'm not aware of. Sure, you could. This card is worth more to me than you ever, um, than you could ever offer. <laughs> Senile old fool. Also, for being realistic, he'd be in his high school uniform, not in his Battle City uniform. Kaiba stormed out of Grandpa's store. The team was disturbed by Kaiba's obsession with Blue-Eyes White Dragon. Well, you could call it an obsession. Honestly, I'm pretty sure he's... It's a fetish for him. If we're being realistic. What time is it anyway? Oh, okay. The next day, when Yugi came back to the store with his friends, he found Grandpa was gone. When the phone rang, it was Kaiba on the other end, mocking Yugi that he kidnapped his grandfather and took him to Kaiba Corp. Where does this robot ever appear in the anime? He probably doesn't, it's just a character in the game. For your information, or infinite of that doesn't roll on the that doesn't roll well on the on the tongue, does it? Yugi and his friends 
What do I keep pronouncing this name? Whatever. Yugi and his friends rushed to Kaiba Corp and found Grandpa lying on the floor. Dead. Defeated. Grandpa, are you okay? Yugi, I failed. I wanted to teach that boy Kaiba a lesson about the heart of the cards, but I lost. He must be atheist, honestly. Grandpa, how's the old man feeling, hmm? Kaiba, you sleaze. What have you done to him? We had a duel, that's all. With each of us pitting, um, putting up our most valuable card as the prize. Hmm, I guess that's where he got the inspiration from for that Battle City tournament. But I guess playing against a champion like myself was just too much stimulation for the old fool. Is, are they using the Four Kids dialogue, by the way? I ain't gonna lie. I, I did like uh, Four Kids' original... I, I did watch Yu-Gi-Oh! The Four Kids dub in English, the original Yu-Gi-Oh! series. Not so much GX and 5Ds because... If I recall correctly, they didn't even finish GX, and I don't know about 5Ds. I think they only went up to when it went to the Nordic Beasts in Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds. That's honestly a bit of a blur. And then I'll admit, I don't, re I don't really remember the last season of GX all that well. I think after it went to yu -Bell, I think there was this Grim Reaper card or something. Some weird monster or something. Kaiba, you should be ashamed of yourself. Look at the sweet prize I won. He would never say that in real life, would he? I don't, I don't think he's ever said the word sweet. Kaiba held up Grandpa's blue eyes white dragon and ripped it in half. I'm not gonna rip one of those, uh, I'm not gonna rip one of my cards as an example. Grandpa's most treasured card! Blue eyes white dragon is a rare and powerful card. This one will never be used against me. Oh no, my blue eyes white dragon! My treasure! heartless of him when you think about it because he really loves blue eyes white dragon no he'll never talk about it but still he, he flies a jet with that looks like a blue eyes white dragon for or for pete's sake grandpa hold on how could you do such a thing yuki take this oh i know what's coming huh grandpa i built this deck i put my soul in these cards and i taught you everything i know yuki Take my cards and teach Kaiba respect for the heart of the cards. Okay, Grandpa. I'll do it. Ready to play, Runt? <laughs> oh yeah, we're gonna sell this with a children's card game like real men. Playtime is over, Kaiba. Oh, you don't even get the fancy music? Mm-hmm. Kaiba was taken aback by Yugi's sudden transformation. It seemed like he had become a different person, as if he was more confident and powerful than before. This almost feels like I'm playing a dating simulator, doesn't it? <laughs> oh well. I just wish I was a better voice actor, honestly. Or I had a better voice for this. I just sound so... stale. Not gonna lie. Ah well, not everyone can be gifted. Kaiba, prepare yourself because it's time to duel! Oh, I'll kick his ass with this deck. I'm not gonna pass up this opportunity. I remember that card. Hmm. I'll remember a lot of these cards. Damn. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Does this card does this deck have Exodia? Oh, I ain't surrendering. Alright, let's see here. I'll put I'll put this bitch face down. And then, I'll, and then I'll play this card. You can attack me if you want. We'll see what happens. What you got? Oh yeah, he's got a battle ox. Yep, good thing I got a couple of swords. Oh wow, this, this does have Exodia. Oh my god. So many weak monsters when you think about it. Well, almost all of them. Yeesh. Yeah, we'll just go with the. Let me see, I'll go with this one. Doesn't really matter which one I pick if I get all five. This might take a while though, because. <laughs> unless I run like a couple of pot of greeds or graceful charities or something. 
This card will help out the most, though, because I'll just keep drawing normal monsters, and then I'll eventually draw these. Oh, they even work with this card, too. Oh. Oh, I'm glad I drew this card, um, or I got that card in my hand as a result. All right. Um, let me use this. No, actually, hang on. Let me go with this first. I'm going to beat him with Exodia. That's the only way to do it. Oh. Oh, wow. Damn. Making me choose, huh? All right, we'll get rid of one of these. And... If I get another sand again, this card might come in handy for me, so... Ah. Uh, choose. Raigeki. We'll get rid of Raigeki. Damn. If I keep drawing normal cards, though, then... I shouldn't have a problem. I would have liked if the four kids music was um was playing in the background instead of this stock sounding music, I ain't gonna lie. Maybe I should think about having some concealing some Bluetooth headphones underneath and listening to music that way just so I can get myself in the moment. Find more normal cards, so giant soldier stone. Oh, hello. Two? Oh wow. I'll save those for you know if you ever tributes for blue eyes or something. I'll summon you. Just gotta empty out a lot of this deck, honestly. You're only hurting yourself. Yeah. This speeds up the process. Ooh, Kaiser. Why do I have that card in my deck? Oh, there's something wrong with my... Oh, and we got Gaia, too. Two? Oh, wow! Oh, this will go by even faster. Um, yeah. Let's go on the offensive. Get rid of A and B. My tribute summon for Gaia the Fierce Knight, although nowadays it's... Honestly, it's surprising how many archetypes uh, of cards there are just from Yugi's cards. Like, Gaia's got an archetype, Exodia's got an archetype. And you know an archetype is iconic enough when it even gets sub-archetypes or oh, oh. You know, that's what sh um, that's what Spellbinding Circle originally should have done. This card is what- this card does what Spellbinding Circle does in the anime. In reality, Spellbinding Circle doesn't decrease your attack. I still got a turn left on this, right? He's gonna tribute though. Well, I'll prevent him from tributing. I got two of these anyway. And if I burn him one. What did he have face down? Oh my door. Hmm. There's a couple other Aqua Madura cards. I'm not using this one. The weak level five monster. Grappler. Hmm. Don't you have voice um voice raider? Soggy the Dark Clown? What about the crush card virus? Nah, you don't show those yet. Ho oh, ho, oh, nice. Uh oh, until I draw one of these, huh? Doesn't Okay, I guess not. Um, oh, we'll end up killing each other. I'll just put this face down. I'll get rid of a normal monster, sadly. You. By accident, don't get rid of these by accident. Another one. 
I guess I'll just focus on defense then. There's three Exodia pieces in here. What are the odds? Hmm. Played yourself, Kaiba. That's three. It just keeps going. I didn't realize... I... <laughs> Three Heart of the Underdogs. With a deck full of normal monsters. I won't... S oh, even Pot of Greed. Holy crap, look at how stacked this, ha this hand looks. I'm just gonna play this. Three Heart of the Underdogs. Is that even viable for an Exodia deck? What are the odds that I draw the last two pieces? Oh my god, I almost drew the last two pieces. Four out of five. Mm. I mean, I'm still not an offensive, I guess. I mean, his hand, his his deck, I guess... He's got blue eyes, I got Exodia, and either way, it's... Both honestly kind of pathetic. It feels a little slow. Oh... He just negated my attack. He activated his trap card. Oh, how many do I got to discard? We'll get rid of you. We'll get rid of you. And you. Mm. Uh. One Exodia piece and 12 cards left in my deck. For the rest of them. Even Skull- even Summon Skull has an archetype. Damn. Alright. Going down to face down. Have a little fun. What do you got face down here? Oh, another Aqua Medour. Hm. Somehow my Summon Skull uses electricity when attacking. Even though it's a dark attribute fiend type monster. Oh. Ooh. Ancient rules. Has its uses. Where's my... I feel like my controller is moving just up some sometimes. I think it's starting to drift. Yeah. Don't make me dark hole you. I swear to god I will... Oh. <laughs> Ooh, that's tempting. You know what? Yeah. Why not? I'll toy with him. I got four out of the five pieces. I'll show enough mercy before finishing up with Exodia. And then I'll give him PTSD as a result. Uh, Exodia! It's not possible! That was a meme. That's nice. Hey, Salty Trigger Guy live! Yo, VGM! Oh, want a sec here. Let me just, uh, do. Yeah. You're, 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 you're watching this from your live stream channel. I made, I made you a moderator in my uh, main one, so. No, your main channel is a moderator on my channel, so. Not your live stream channel, so, you know, I fixed that now. So I draw three cards now, huh? Oh, and I drew Dark Magician, too. You know, I got that bitch. I got Dark Magician, I got Red Eyes, I got Blue Eyes. Oh, I drew the kill. Ah! Eat him. My grandpa's deck has no pathetic cards. But it does contain the unstoppable... Oh my god, he looks good. Nice. Easy money. <laughs> you play only for power, Kaiba. That is why you lost. But if you put your heart in the game, there is nothing you can't do. Oh, you're not even gonna mind crush him? That small prick has it coming. Didn't? If I recall correctly, there's a season zero of Yu-Gi-Oh. When he actually does that to Kaiba, doesn't he actually hospitalize him? 
put him in a wheelchair? Put him to the manga, anyway. I need to read the manga, honestly. The manga and the anime sometimes have their differences. The results of the duel spread quickly, and a mysterious one-eyed man got news of Yugi's victory. <clears throat> At least try to do a Pegasus voice. Hmm, it seems Kaiba Boy has been defeated in the duel. I must learn more about this Yugi Mudo. Hmm. Eh. I really should try to practice more. Doing voices. Look up some voice uh, tutorials, vo voice acting tutorials. Where do I see these deck recipes? Ooh, hello! Mr. Pax. Get your card. Ryukushin. I, w I would have expected him to have that card in his deck. He had a bunch of weak ass nobody. Um. Nobody normal cards. And again, so did I. Try it out. Hey, now I can buy cards. 22 out of 314, 33 out of 942. Damn. Oh, it's cheap. What do we got? Oh, throw. Ooh. Yeah, that card has some use. If I had some life, uh, if I had cards that increases, um, that increase life points. And then I just saw this card, but uh, I saw its Link Monster counterpart. Weak. Eh. Ugh. I don't miss these cards. These cards and like weak ass fusion monsters, like. With the exception of Flame Swordsman, most of them are pretty terrible. And I only say Flame Swordsman as the exclusion because that card gets some support. I've never heard of this card before. And they still make normal monsters too. Um, Only they're a little bit more... How would I say it? A level 4 normal monsters with 2000 attack and no defense, and there's quite a few of them. There's a zombie one, there's a psychic one. So I guess I could kick his ass normally with a with a regular deck too and get some points out of it or something. After his win against Zero Kaiba, Yugi was puzzled to receive a package from Maximilian Pegasus, the creator of dual monsters. Inside the box was a videotape. Yugi inserted the tape into the VCR. <laughs> Who still has a VCR in this day and age? Who still has a DVD player in this day and age, actually? Um, and Pegasus's face popped up on the TV screen. Seven days. <laughs> Greetings, little Yugi. I am Maximilian Pegasus. I've heard some terribly interesting things about you. Your impressive defeat of Seto Kaiba intrigued me so much that I decided to investigate your amazing duelist dueling skills personally. I think I'm doing a decent job, honestly, with the voice. Right here and now, we shall hold a special duel. Ah, Shadow Games. This is actually something that 4Kids created, if I recall correctly. It was actually death or, or something, but, you know, they didn't really talk about death all that much. Maybe even once or twice. Even I remember in the last season of the season 5 of Yu-Gi-Oh! When a character died, and they did die. They, there was like a character or two dying every episode during the whole era going back into 5,000 years in the past time. They would just highlight the characters with like a white light, a gold light, or something, even though they did actually die. Suddenly, strange and arcane magic froze time so that no one could move, except for Yugi. Our kids really did try to censor out a lot of stuff, and yet I still sometimes... I still prefer the English version over the Japanese version, mostly because I've gotten used to the English voice actors instead of the Japanese ones. Another thing that I could actually give props to four kids for... The, um, the background music. It actually does sound like they're in Egypt when the situation calls for it. Yeah. This dark dimension we're in is known as the Shadow Realm, a mystical place where incredible monsters can be summoned, and the impossible is quite possible. What did they actually call this, um, in Japan? In originally, from the English dub? Tell me, Yugi. Do you believe there is magic in these cards? Don't you know? You invented the game. What if I told you I didn't? Hmm? 
In ancient times, the Egyptians called this the Shadow Game. Powerful pharaohs would hold mystical duels in other dimensions, just as we're doing now. Instead of cards, they battled with real monsters and real magic. The magical forces were so powerful that the Egyptians lost control of them and nearly destroyed the entire world. Hm. It's a good story, but these monsters can't be real. God, these guys talk a lot. Imagine if this game had voice acting, like Duel Links. Duel Links has voice acting. And that's a mobile title, too. It actually brought back just about every single voice actor across the original English dub and Japanese dub, I guess, if I set it to Japanese. I should try that one day uh, for it. And it goes up from Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh GX, Yu-Gi-Oh 5Ds, and the Dark Side of Dimensions, I think. I don't know if there's a fifth one. Maybe I haven't gotten to that one yet, but my best guess is it only goes up to those four because it only goes up from regular playing regular Yu-Gi-Oh cards all the way up to Synchros. It doesn't even do Vixies. <laughs> it doesn't even do Link or Pendulums because uh, there's no room. It's a speed duel format, basically. These monsters are very real and also quite dangerous. Yugi boy, you really are quite entertaining. The way you scowl and sneer. So defiant and yet helpless, and so completely ignorant of the power of your Millennium Puzzle. Yeah. Uh, nice, yeah. Miles Makoto Gaming and stuff? So mad I turned on Game On and lost all my data. About to start fresh, so no duel today. Lol. Yeah, it never hurts to start fresh with this game, I guess. Is it, is it a bit of a grind to get certain cards in this game? Because... I, I ain't gonna lie, there are some archetypes I'd like to play with in this game. And this game should have the most recent cards. I mean, I do remember there was an update a couple of weeks ago. Yugi looked down at the Millennium Puzzle that he wore around his neck. The power of my puzzle? Five thousand years ago, a powerful pharaoh locked the magic of the Shadow Games away in seven mystical Millennium items. Mm-hmm. Seven items. You're saying that my puzzle's one of them? Yes, and there are mystical energies locked within it. Magic that could change your life forever, if you only knew how to unleash it. Hmm. I believe it's up to it's up to date at the moment. I don't know what cards they added. Did they add uh ooh, there's this Okay. I'm gonna keep this as brief as possible. Um I got back into Yu-Gi-Oh! a couple of months ago through Duel Links. And also because there was this one card I heard about called Dragoon of Red Eyes. It's a fusion monster between Dark Magician and either Red Eyes Black Dragon or a Dragon Effect monster. It is broken. That card is freaking broken. It's powerful. It's badass looking. I want there to be an English print of that card. It got me back into um, collecting Yu-Gi-Oh cards again, honestly. Before that, my actual, my favorite card before that was Dark Paladin, which is another Dark Magician related fusion monster. It is gorgeous. It is. It does a lot of things. It incinerates. It can attack again. No, it can't attack again. Um, it's pretty easy to summon, honestly. It can burn your opponents up to twice, depending on how you summon it. Um, get, get stronger. Negates effects. Oof, it is. Mm, you'll put the fear of God with that card. As the two dueled, it seemed that. Can I duel already? It seemed that Pegasus knew every move Yugi was going to make before he did. Despite this disadvantage, Yugi mustered all his skills and nearly won. But Yugi ran out of time when the time limit passed. He, he would have won that duel, honestly. I have taken the measure of your talents this day, Yugi Moto. And when next we duel, we shall play for far higher stakes. Done with your games. <laughs> no, he, he's never done with his games. He, when you think about it, Duel Monsters is technically a game. A children's card game. Even though there are some pretty lewd monsters in that game that um, have been censored in the English version. Arby's monsters, Luna Light monsters, Animal Hero Bersinatrix, um, oh, Dark Magician Girl. She had a smaller bust in the English version. Boy, that monster's popular, I'll, I'll tell you that much. A lot of lewd stuff with that one. Even some lewd figures I've seen of Dark Magician Girl on eBay. Particularly ones with penny shots. Um, you can skip. I ain't gonna skip it, though. Ah, Dragon Meats. Yeah, I, I've heard of those cards. They're, they're kind of cute, honestly. Um, there's a lot of those kinds of cards, though. 
cute anime-ish female half humanoid furry monsters I like the luna lights i like those cards too i've been collecting some of those cards in dual links i got Luna Light fusion some of them the fox one the butterfly one the bunny one i think a couple of the fusions you presume I'm giving you a choice in the matter, but I'm not. Or I also plus, uh, I also possess one of the seven Millennium items, the all-powerful Millennium Eye. Oh my God, it's a PNG! Jesus, Millennium Eye. That's right, Yugi boy. I'll show you the true extent of its magic. I have found that, given the proper incentive, anybody can, <laughs> anyone can be made to play my game. Oh, Y button. Lol. I think you press plus or minus. Yeah, but like I said, I don't like to skip this kind of stuff. Besides, it's... For me, it's a recap, honestly. And for all I know, maybe you guys haven't even seen the anime yet. I mean, you, if you have Hulu, you can easily watch the first five seasons of Yu-Gi-Oh! Arcs, not seasons. The power of the Millennium Eye lashed out and stole Grandpa's soul. Yugi could only watch in horror. <clears throat> Yugi! Something like that. Grandpa! He honestly gets into these kinds of situations a lot. Probably more so than, than Mokuba, honestly. We will duel again, Yugi. How else will you ever reclaim your grandfather's soul? Hmm. You got seven dazed. Yugi had no choice but to compete in Pegasus's Duelist Kingdom tournament so that he can get his grandfather's soul back. Do I gotta show that card again? I will. I'll show that card again. Let's see here. Ah, these three. Let me just hold them up proper. Ignore the fact that my fingers can be double jointed as well. Yeah. I only got some of the Yu-Gi-Oh cards that I have in my collection up there though. Uh, at Duelist Kingdom, each duelist was given two star chips which they could wager against other duelists on the island. Oh, now I remember who I'm going to duel in this one. Would have been funny if I was going to duel Pegasus, but no, I'm going to duel that guy instead. Whoever earned 10 star chips gained entry into the tournament finals where they would compete for the $3 million grand prize. Esports don't give this much money, do they? And the chance to duel Pegasus himself. Hmm. For his first duel, Yugi faced off against the conniving Weevil Underwood, a duelist with whom he had a bit of his... I'm not even going to try to do his voice, it's... Uh, it's... Oof. While riding the boat to Duelist Kingdom... Wait... A duelist with whom he had a bit of his... Oh, yeah, that's right. He, he threw away Exodia. That bitch. While riding the boat to Duelist Kingdom, we will took Yugi's precious Exodia cards and threw them into the ocean. He, he did this with, with these guys. He just went... This. Might as well have done that. No, he just chucked them. So when Yugi spied Weevil on the island, he chased after him into the woods. Mmm, welcome, said the spider to the fly. You flew right into my trap. <laughs> Didn't they call Bugsy from Pokemon Soul Silver Weevil Underwood or something? Because, you know, bugs. It's time you answer for destroying my Exodia cards, Weevil. Can't you let bygones be bygones? <laughs> Weevil, it's time to find out if you're as good at dueling as you are at running away. I am gonna be so parched after this. Was I simply running away, cleverly weaving you into my web? I feel like I've seen that same PNG too on... in Duel Links. I guess Konami likes to reuse assets, huh? It's time to duel. Finally. Cybers. That's gotta be... B rank. It's probably gotta, it's gotta be one of the most recent Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And then I lost the Rock, Paper, Scissors again. And one children's um, game for another children's game. So this deck no longer has Exodia, huh? And it still has Sangan, too. Maybe next time I should try to use my own deck instead. Although it doesn't some... <laughs> it needs a lot of work, honestly. It's like we're playing on Animal Crossing or something. Animal Crossing New Horizons. 
Ah, one of the first field spells. Oh. Hmm. I was expecting a normal insect, like Gokibore or Petite Moth. Oh, it would have been really stupid of him to attack with a with a Petite Moth. Okay. I believe attack, so I'll just let this. I'll just set that face down. Don't hurt yourself now. God damn it! I wish I had some eradicating aerosol. <laughs> Good thing I drew mystical elf. What? Oh my god. Um. Ooh, I really hope I draw a dark hole or something. How did he summon that immediately? Because before you had to wait some turns for that. Um. <laughs> I'm getting this. Shit got real. Shit got serious. What does that card even do? Should be one insect monster from either field equipped with an equipped card, and if you do, special summon one. Wow. Huh. That speeds up the process. Cause yeah, look at this card. That's probably his best monster. Well, that an insect. Oh. <laughs> okay. Lucky draw. Um, whatever. He'll attack anyway. Part of the cards, man. Part of the cards. Yeah, see, that's what I was kind of expecting in some, because... If we're being realistic with some of the cards, but... The Coon of Ultra Evolution? Come on. Triple kill. Oh, I could be dirty. Must first be special summoned by tributing. Can I? I mean, if I can't, I could bring, um, bring something else back and. Oh. Well, that sucks. <laughs> I would have. I would have smoked them so quickly. Must first be special summon. I guess it wasn't technically special summon normally through that card. Damn. That would have been fun though, using his best card against them. Ah oh, well, I got something else. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch up. Wow. Yeah, I really should have used my own deck next time. I'll get this card for some defense. How many Gaia cards are there now, actually? There's a synchro called Gaia Knight, the Force of Earth, and there's a few others that actually benefit Blackluster Soldier decks or something. Blackluster Soldier Ritual cards for Super Soldier, Blackluster Soldier, something like that. You got nothing? Really? <laughs> Your funeral, mate. I'm just gonna do this just because. I really wish I could have uh, brought this card back and used it against them. Oh, he's dead. Mirror Force came in clutch. Better not be a mirror force as well. What do you even have here anyway? You got an insect queen, you got another you got ultimate great moth or something. He hasn't even played another monster since. Oh, he's boned. Oh, damn it. I was about to count my blessings there too. I was about to go this because, you know, 
You done so. Now he summons a monster. I bet it's Cocoon of Evolution. What the heck could I polymerize? Oh. Hmm. Shame. I don't have Curse of Dragon. Not yet. Hmm. You know what's one thing that, um, I neglect to mention? Oh. Wow. In hindsight, maybe I should have attacked with a different... Damn. Uh... He's persistent, like a cockroach. Special summon one insect-type monster for... Oh, here we go. Another Hercules beetle? Hmm. Two Gaias? <laughs> okay. I'll tribute... Let's see here. Tribute you. And you. Remember how bullshit the anime was originally? 2,000... Uh, 2,000 life points. ES... Field spell mechanics, um, even up to the battle city and, and shit. Actually, I think all throughout the anime there were some BS rules. Got him. It's over. I won. No, impossible. My moth is unbeatable. Well, not to fusion. No, not to. Not to mirror force. Arky lady. And pin duel a lot. Oh. Ultimate well, Great Moth. New deck avatar. New deck recipe. Oh, hello. I bet hers has some harpies. They're they're a pretty decent archetype. I think they still get support. Out the check. Uh let's see here. Card shop. Oh, it's a little more expensive. Um yes. I mean, no blow. Do, do, do. Master F Monk Fighter. <laughs> Bombardment Beetle. Parasite Parasite. Eh, unless I'm running Legendary Ocean or something. But this card. This card's good, though. Cannot be normal summoner set. Must be special summoned from your hand by banishing two insect tech monsters from your graveyard. Not be special summoned by other ways. When this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, send the top card of their deck to the graveyard. Great card for an insect deck. Didn't even see what the fish does. Now let's buy a couple more. I think... Yeah, I remember the, these cards that were... Before they were made into Link monsters. Decent. Pretty good. I guess. So... He has Gravekeeper cards, I guess. I'll buy a couple more. Amazonist cards too, huh? Yeah, I'm missing a lot if I want to make a, if I want to make that kind of deck. If an Amazonist monster attacks a monster with higher attack, the attacking monster gains 1,000 attack during damage calculation only. Hmm. Reminds me of Skyscraper for the Elemental Heroes. Grave. Target one monster in either player's graveyard during your next standby phase. Special summon from the graveyard. If used right, your opponent won't special summon anything. Target one monster your opponent controls. Return that target to the hand. Remember when people used Hamehane and Penguin Soldier? Huh. Penguin Soldier especially. You know, if I did a multiplayer, I'm probably going to get smoked. Not gonna lie. Um. Oh. Huh. Wow. <laughs> I'll have to look into that later. Yugi wasn't the only duelist who was motivated to win the tournament for a loved one. 
despite being a novice duelist, Joey had his own reasons for wanting to win. A lot of people like Joey in the in the original Yu-Gi-Oh! anime. The Brooklyn accent does make sense because if I recall correctly, he is Joey Wheeler is American. Native to New York City, I think. Brooklyn. I don't know if the Japanese voice actor was accurate with the accent. Probably not. Um, but they did get a proper voice actor for him in English. Uh, Joey had his own reasons for wanting to win. His sister Serenity. Yeah, he he wanted the money for the uh, he wanted the prize money for eye surgery operation for her, for his sister. I better be the champion for Serenity's sake. He's always counted on me, even when we were kids. Also, Joey Wheeler has the uh, whole underdog thing going for him, so you know people like an underdog. I'm going to win this tournament and the prize money. I'm going to make sure you don't lose your eyesight by paying for your surgery. I promise. The meditative moment was rudely broken when Joey and his friends heard someone laughing and taunting another duelist a short distance away. A voice that annoying could only belong to... My. The team met my Valentine on the boat to Duelist Kingdom. She was a manipulative, self-absorbed duelist who had the uncanny ability to always know what card she would draw next. It was just a cheap trick, honestly. And this was long before psychics were actually... A thing in, in, in Yu-Gi-Oh. Hey, Yugi, are you? That's terrible. Whatever. Are you? Are you duels going well? Uh, I can barely read now. I might be up for a duel myself, so get ready because I choose to challenge you, Joey. Why? You challenge me? You have the guts to accept. Did these two ever get married? At the end of the first Yu-Gi-Oh! season? No, probably not, because Dark Side of Dimensions, or... I don't know. But there are romantic undertones with these two. I accept. Let's duel. Get ready to lose. Kind of sucks that they don't actually let you see the story deck or something. Oh well. At least I'm using a different deck. Yeah, I won one for once. Eh, I'll go... Oh, damn. I, I should get a new controller soon. I control my Joy-Con is starting to drift a little um a little up. Hey, these monsters are low oh. Damn. Not gonna lie, they're kinda hot. Also they show a lot more skin than they should. You know, Japanese to English uh censoring. <laughs> Especially Harpy Go, holy shit, that monster was, um, revealing. Alright, so what do you got here? Target one wind monster you control, turn into the hand, almost another wind monster. Okay, so I should be worried about those two cards, but still. If I drew Baby Dragon, let me see here. Yeah. Remember what I said about um, the original Yu-Gi-Oh anime, the original Yu-Gi-Oh anime being broken? Not just from the fact that they were summoning powerful monsters without tributing, but because cards like Flame Swordsman, cards like Guiltia the D9, that's another fusion monster Joey has, they just summon without fusion summoning. Um, Earth monsters, okay. Pretty decent. I know what this does. Next wielding monster of tremendous strength and agility. A simple looking artwork too. Oh. Oh. That's not good. Damn. She never had that in the, uh, in the original anime. She did have Harpy Lady's Phoenix Formation, though. That card's pretty, pretty solid. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Um, I'm actually gonna have to take this one. Ow. 
discarding one card, special summon as many copies of Harpy Lady as possible from your graveyard. Uh, I don't have anything to destroy that card. Fusion Conscription. Reveal one fusion monster in your extra deck and add one of those fusion monster materials whose name is specifically listed in that card from your deck to grave it to. Oh! Uh, and if you do, for the rest of this turn, after this card resolves, you cannot normal summon spe set or special summon monsters. The added monster's name. Also, your monster with that name cannot activate the effects. So I can summon this, activate this, get baby dragon. Yeah, that's a plan. Nope. Activate this. Fusion Conscription is activated. Oh, what was the name of that card? Oh, Keeper of Dragon Magic. That card's great in the fusion deck. It does the same thing, more or less. Uh, no. No, no, no chain. I guess it'll be easier to summon that monster. Uh, no. Wait, I, I. Oh. Huh. Already? In another card? No. Three of them. When do you get like Red Eye Slash Dragon or something? Better yet, when does he get Red Eyes Fusion? Red Eyes has its own archetype too. Why would I place it there? Nope. How oh, the turntables have turned. Let it be known that I don't discriminate. You know what I you remember what I said about cards being censored from the Japanese version to the English version? Harpy Dancer, you know the areas in her body um that are grey? Those would be showing a lot of skin instead. And it's not just Harpy's um monsters either, it's just one of the more Prominent ones that have been Japanese censored. That have been censored from Japan to the US. Don't believe me, look it up. Just look up uh Harpy Girl on on Google Images. Keep telling me to activate Kunai with chain, I'm not gonna activate it. That's gonna get annoying. Oh, I can tweak this. There we go. I guess I can't tweak how... Neutral card? No, not activating shit. So what do I got in here? I got a Time Wizard. I'm not going to bring that back. I could always bring one of these cards back. Uh, she... Is that one now, I think? Nah. I'll save it in case this card gets destroyed. It might be possible. Oh, stop. Damn it. It is possible to burn a card by using it, um, improperly. I do not want to activate Kunai with Chain. Nope. You don't have any cards to discard for that. She probably will at some point. Nothing. Hmm. 
I thought Pokemon had some bad AI. Need you cards? No. 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 You know what? I'm gonna win anyway, so fuck it. There we go. Now I can shut up. We tweet. <laughs> Question. Some of the some of the monsters in this game have special summons, like animations, like blue eyes. I'm pretty sure Dark Magician would have one. Does the original Harpy Lady have uh, a special looking like an animation when it's summoned? Done so. Easy. Ah, uh, how? How could I ever lose to such an amateur? And I tried to tell you that there's more to dual monsters than just kicking the other guy's butt. If you're ever gonna be a real champion. You've got to learn to care about someone other than yourself. Signature card award, even though I never saw it. What's the channeler? Steric sign? I guess if I wanted to, I could just keep doing these duels over and over and over again to farm BP and buy their packs or something. Because I'm amassing quite a lot of DP, and I could spend a lot of it on these. Negate attack? Not bad. Throw away... Useful if I'm gonna make a Gravekeeper deck or something. Ugh. Kinda useful. Early on, anyway. When a monster is sent from the field to your graveyard, even during the damage step, target one monster from the field, destroy it. So, if I, let's say I tribute for a monster on my side of the field, I could use this trap card to destroy a monster on my opponents. Each player can only control one type of monster, send all other face-up monsters they control to the graveyard. Like, all warriors, all fiends, all dragons, or all spellcasters or something? Kind of useful, although good decks nowadays tend to just consist of one type of- Hey, 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 you. The regulation of tribe, one monster type, monsters of that type cannot declare attacks. Once per turn during your standby phase, tribute one monster or destroy this card. The heck? Hmm. Hold on, Ladybug. Hmm. Decent. Again, Amazon's cards. I'm gonna do... Well, let's see here. I'm not doing these. Uh, I'm gonna do them all in order. Uh, I remember this guy. He's kind of noble. Not gonna lie. The truth and power of the Millennium Puzzle was beginning to dawn on Yugi. During his duels, the puzzle infused Yugi with the power and soul of an ancient spirit. Though this was a major issue to ponder, there was a smaller, but no less important matter to deal with first. Oh, the dueling made me hungry. Did any of you guys remember to bring any food with you? Sorry, Joey. Oh, we think in coming here with no food. How are we ever going to get through the rest of the competition without anything to eat? a good question, Joey. Dueling really takes it. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Uh, and I haven't seen any burger stands or restaurants since we got here. I don't think Postmates would deliver all the way over here either. I smell something cooking that way. They followed the scent to the beach where they spotted a campfire with several roasting fish in the distance. I'm not a fan of seafood, personally. Oh man, I just love barbecued fish. It smells good. I bet it tastes even better. That makes, uh, what makes you think those fish are yours to eat? Hey, trust me. We first, and ask questions later. Forget about it. <laughs> Your stomachs will thank me. Joy ran down to the campfire. Then he got impaled by a spear. Joy would say anything to fill his belly. Some people have absolutely no self-control. Hmm. Joey, save some for me! Yeah, they're... Um... They're a lot of light, those two. Tristan ran up to Joey. It wasn't long before Yugi and Taya joined them as well, where I grabbed one of the fish from the fire. 
Oh, that reminds me. Fun fact about Taya. Um, I remember seeing a Watch Mojo video. Top 10 anime characters that have never lost. Taya was number one. Yugi's lost. Um, yeah, he's lost a few duels, especially the last one against uh, Yugi Moto. Um, Yugi versus Yugi Moto. Has to. It had to, though. Um, but Taya never lost a duel, even though she's only played so few of them. Oh man, this looks awesome. This is the team began to bite into the fish. A young man entered from the ocean with a spear in his hand. Enjoy yourselves, you fish thieves, or it is your last meal. But this is your last meal. I ain't gonna lie, I kind of like his um, I kind of like his water deck. Um, before cards became overpowered, legendary ocean using some water monsters. There are actually some pretty decent level five um water monsters that you could summon without tributing through the help of a legendary ocean because it cuts the level of those level five monsters by one. So there are level 4 monsters. Terra King Salmon was one of those cards and had like 2400 attacks, so I knew this was a bad idea. How dare you steal my fish, you bottom feeding thieves! Hey, chill out, guy. It was just a few fish. A few fish that do not belong to you. And to steal a fisherman's catch is to prove you have no honor. Wait a second, aren't you Miko Tsunami, the top ranked ocean duelist? I want to actually try to make a deck for him um, in Duel Links. I got Legendary Ocean, I got some water monsters. Um, it'll probably be a bit of a mismatch, honestly. A hodgepodge of water cards, but they should still work. And who might you be? I'm Yugi Moto. Sorry about your fish. You're Yugi Moto, the only duelist ever to defeat Seto Kaiba? What a fine surprise. I must apologize. I've been ungracious. If you are friends of Yugi Moto, please come sit down and eat your fill. If I recall correctly, you could eat fish raw, right? Oh yeah, that's what sushi is. Like I said, I'm, I prefer Italian. I'm not much of a seafood fan. The occasional shrimp and salmon is fine, but I'd sooner eat a calzone or pizza. The team set the- oh, or spaghetti even. I love spaghetti. The team sat down at the fire and shared a meal with Mako. That's a type of a shark, by the way. After the feast, the team thanked Mako and started to head out. When Minko threw his spear at the ground in front of them. I treated you to dinner. Perhaps you will honor me with a duel? He's nuts. Nope, but I am an expert fisherman, and you have taken my bait. Hm. How many nautical puns do you think he knows? Do you think it'll only last him a couple of hours, like uh, uh like that Gulliver character from Animal Crossing? What bait? Why, the fish, of course. I let it out and lured you three right in. But I never expected to catch Yugi Moto. I reeled in another duelist a short time ago, but he was not a worthy opponent. But a duel against you, Yugi, would be a true test. Yu-Gi-Oh! Echo Tsunami, I accept your challenge. I'm gonna use my own deck this time. Illusion structure deck? Pendulum structure deck? Where's. I'm gonna go with the fusion one. I'll be a little more familiar with that. I thought it would be my own deck. Oh no, it is. It, it was number one. Ah well. I just can't win those today, huh? What is all this? Yep. He's bringing out Umi. I guess it's better than Legendary Ocean. Oh. Damn. Well, I think I got this. Oh, fusions. Attack Wolf, Cannon Soldier, two machine type monsters. Ignition Beast Volcanon. What, what the? What's this? When this card is fusion summoned, you can target one of your opponent controls. Destroy the target, also destroy this card, then both monsters will be destroyed. Inflict damage to your opponent equal to the attack of the monster in the graveyard that was targeted by this effect. Two normal monsters. 
That's good. This is a good one, actually. I've seen this card in Duel Links. First of the Dragons. Uh, two normal monsters. You can only control one at a time of this card. This card cannot be destroyed by battle, except by battle with a normal monster. And is unaffected by other monsters' effects. Please, Phoenix, the Burning what? what? Another Machine Pyro? Once per turn, during your main phase, you can inflict 300 damage to your opponent for each card on the field. This card cannot attack during the turn you activate this effect. I should go for either this, this, maybe not so much this. <laughs> Hell no. Well, this card can attack your opponent directly, but yeah, there's better. This has no effect. This is a little self-destructive, honestly. If I want to fusion something, I'll go for these two. And hmm. if I drop my card once per turn, you can have this card gain 400 attack. This card can attack the turn you activate this effect. Why? Huh. Why would it have that effect? I guess if your opponent attacks it, then... Yeah. Yeah, it gets a little weaker from that, but at the same time, if it gets destroyed, it gets special summon something. Also, I have this deck anyway. I'm hoping for polymerization. Oh boy. Ow. Hmm. I'll just summon another one of these. Polymerization, polymerization. Oh! More damage calculation if this card was attacked by an opponent's monster. Face some defense. The target is equipped this to an attacking monster. Then, during your opponent's next standby phase, destroy the monster this card is equipped to. Last fear does a little better though, because they take damage, but whatever. At least this card's not a pyro. Wait, what? Oh. You're making this hard on me. Well, this will still work. We'll self-destruct. All machine and pyro monsters on the field lose 200 attack and defense. God damn it. I guess the deck is supposed to have some kind of disadvantage. This is all my deck has, though. Machines and pyros, right? Yeah. Actually, no, you know what? Defense. I need to fusion something. When a monster you control is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, so I get two face up monsters on the field, shuffle those targets into the deck. Huh. Well, that'll prove useful. Finish the defense. Set this card. All right, I got um, I got some defense. I used to have some defense. Ah, damn it! I misteed it. Oh no. Ooh, yeah. Oh crap. I don't mind if I lose a duel, honestly. 
Uh, this card was attacked by an opponent's monster. Shit. These are machine dragon. Yeah, dragon. That's not gonna get um two normal monsters. I'm holding on to these two just because of that. I'm just gonna do nothing. If I'm lucky, he won't summon anything else. Oi. Ow. And your opponent's next standby phase. Yes! Uh, I drew the card. I know what this card does. This card can be used as a fusion substitute for any one fusion material. Or discard this card to the graveyard at a polymerization for my deck to my hand. Oh, just the card I needed. Ah, uh, show me the money. I could summon that monster, but this would be the better choice. First of the dragons, two normal monsters. Even better, I could use this card afterward. This card cannot be destroyed by battle except by battle with a normal monster and is unaffected by other monsters' effects. Unaffected by other monster effects. Now get polymerization back. Pyro, machine, both normals. I'll bring Charcoal and Pachi back. I'm not going to summon it because I might end up destroying it. I'm going to make this one hurt. I need to swing her in Phibius Beast because uh, my adhesive explosive is going to take care of it um, during his standby phase. Remove, Shark Boy! Luck of the draw. Oh, if I draw another normal monster, you're screwed. I drew another normal monster, you're screwed. Uh wait. Two normal monsters? Oh, uh, I can only control one fist of the Oh, I forgot. Crap. Uh oh, I'll just set this card face down. And I'm gonna attack him. Oh, dick. I gotta beat him a different way now. Now I have to summon that card. He takes no battle damage now. Unless I can destroy Tornado Wall. What else do I need to draw? Um, you can inflict 300 damage to your opponent for each card in the field. A uh, machine type and a pyro monster. When Umi is on the field, you take no battle damage from attacking monsters. If Umi's gone, that card's gone as well. Damn. I would have to do a one.
I need to draw a machine type now. Oh! Huh. It's a machine. Perfect. Now I'll finish them up with effect damage. I have just, uh, just this Clausulus and Flame Cerberus fused together to make Blaze Phoenix the Burning Bombardment Herb. Effect. You can inflict 300 damage to your opponent for each card on the field, and I'm counting six. You're not gonna last another turn. I don't have to attack. I can't really respond to being. Um, to it. Oh! Huh. I don't need to activate that. That's one way to win. What a grand duel. I salute you, my friend. If I recall correctly, he pulled out that kind of strategy against Joey Wheeler during the Battle City tournament, and Joey ended up winning because he used Giant True Nade, which returns all spell and traps back to the owner's hands. Field spells included. This victory was not easily won, Mako. You're a great duelist yourself. Hmm. Oh! Ooh! Yeah, I'll save some of these for later. Oh, there's quite a there's quite a lot of them. Those challenges. Ooh! All right, let me see here. It doesn't seem like I can ever run out of uh, uh of DP. So what do you contain for me? Ah! Zombies! Cyber Soldier of car Garbage. Eh. This card inflicts battle damage to your opponent. You can draw one card. If this card attacks, change the defense position at the end of the battle phase. You want to change the effect at the end of your next turn. Special summon one fairy monster from your hand. No, you must control no monsters. I thought that's making a fairy deck in Duel Links. Doom Goblin Attack Force. Nefarious Archfiend Eater of <laughs> Nefariousness. You control a spellcaster, you can special summon this card from your hand. Once per turn during your opponent's end phase, if this card is in your graveyard, you can target and face up monster you control. And if you do, special summon this card. Sanctum of Parsh Parshaf. This card's name becomes the Sanctuary in the Sky while on the field or in the graveyard. Very monsters on the field gain 300 attack and defense. Set spells, traps cannot be targeted by or destroyed by card effects. Once per turn, you can target a total of three fairy monsters and or counter traps with different names in your graveyard. Place them on top of your deck in any order. There's pieces here. Oh! That first card. This card cannot be special summoned. This card cannot be normal summoned or set except by tributing three monsters. Have the attack and defense of all monsters on the field except this card. There's three of these kinds of cards. The Wicked Avatar, the Wicked Dreadbrood, and the Wicked Dreadnought? No. The Wicked Eraser. This one, another one that looks like some giant worm thing, and another one that's just straight up a black ball. Hmm. Monsters cannot attack the turn they are summoned. Good for stalling. I'm getting some pretty decent picks. Mystic Tomato's uh, definitely a keeper. Put it down. All Earth monsters lose 500 attack and gain 400 defense. Defense. Mm 
I gotta work on my own current deck. Hey. Heh, <laughs> harpy lady. Ooh. Fluffy little thing. Each player can only special summon a monster once per turn. You're shitting me. Really? Not being on the set must be a special summon by its own effect. If the winged dragon of Ross sent from the field to your graveyard, while this card is in your graveyard, special summon this card. Cards and effects cannot be activated in response to this effect activation. Unaffected by other card effects, you can pay a thousand life points and one monster in the field to the graveyard. Once returned to the end phase, send this card to the graveyard. See what I mean by these cards? Their effects read like novels now. If you summon, pay 2,000 life points, target two fiend monsters in your graveyard. Special summon those targets, but they cannot attack this turn. I actually use this card in my Gladiator Beast deck. Um. Like, you can use its effect before um, using Contact Fusion to summon a Fusion Gladiator Beast monster. And the top five cards of your deck to the graveyard. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know whether cards will unlock it. Sure. Or what are the packs? I guess I gotta spend a lot of money, but I seem to get a lot of money, so. I really gotta work on this deck. When did I get these? Those are good. I guess when I use those decks, I also got those cards. Yeah, I should play around with this, actually. I can make up to... 32 different decks. It doesn't seem like a lot, but I could always screenshot this one, like, right now. And then just make, a, um, make that deck that way, but sure. Alright, I'm gonna wrap it up for today. Uh, whew, I was not expecting that raid at the start. Alright, so. Thank you so much. Oh, this is gonna be a bit of a list. Henlort, Rainer, Zoofall, 1986, Odin's Hand, Rhapsody, Daxel T, uh, Minotech, Salty Trigger Guy Live, Miles Makoto Gaming, and stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um,. I do a multiplayer deck. I'm gonna get my ass. I'm gonna get my ass. You know what? Let me try that. Uh. Play with others at your location, leaderboards. I'm gonna get smoked. Yeah, I'm gonna save this for another time when, when I make a little bit more work on my deck. My deck. My deck. Lincoln. Beard my qua. Out. <laughs> I love you, Goodie Bridge series. Hmm. I will take my time with this game. Like, if I breeze through the whole campaign mode of the original Yu Gi Oh! I want to watch through the entire Yu Gi Oh! GX anime afterward. I'll probably start watching it right now, actually. So that. Because when I get to. When I get to Zexel and I start doing the story um, parts, well, up to this part, I'm, I'm familiar with these three, but I will want to rewatch and then make my way down the list. Basically, I want what I watch on the anime to supersede what I'm playing through in this game. But, uh, yeah. This is the Video Game Maniac signing off. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll probably live stream some Animal Crossing New Horizons. Most likely tomorrow, and then Soul Silver, and then this game. Maybe I'll take a day off sometime in the middle. So it'll be these three games that'll be live streaming for the most part. Yeah, that works for now because there's no major title that comes out um, that I'm interested in this month. But until May, Soundblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. 
Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. Thank you so much for that raid again, by the way. Um, I don't know if I actually got subscribers boosted from that. Nope. That's fine. Subscribers are... Watch time is what I'm, I'm focused on right now, but... Uh, yeah, I'm rambling right now, so... I'll see you guys next time. Take care. I did not press the button there. You saw that? <laughs>